Okay, it's my first official day of classes with humans again. Um, I get to meet my students today, and it's really ridiculously early, but that's okay, because I need to set up stuff, and my glasses are fogging up. Okay, here we go. Boyfriend also has to go to work pretty early today, which is why I'm leaving so early, because we can leave together. And he just found out he has a gigantic hole in the butt of his pants, so he's going to change his pants, and then we're going to go. <laughs> What is this? Oh, it's a oh, non. This can be used only when the seats face each other. You can turn the seats around. Neat. Okay. It's like each old duck you romance car has different cool things. Here's the table on this one. Okie dokie. I made it to my workplace super duper early today. I'm like two hours early. But that's okay. I'm gonna get everything set up, see how many students I have and all that good stuff. I've been here once before, so I kind of know stuff here. And I came to two lovely little notes from other teachers, which made me happy. Look how cute. Covering up names and stuff just for privacy reasons. But this made me really happy this morning. Thank you. Well, I was going to be lazy and just not do my makeup besides eyeliner, but I decided since I do have to wear a mask all day for work now, I might as well do a little bit. So I did some sparkles. I just put some sparkles on and some mascara. But yeah, anyway, I'm almost done setting up and yeah. So I'm at the grocery store called Ito Yokado. I guess it's also a chain, I assume. Um, and I'm gonna try their Yaki Emo. They also have purple ones, but I specifically only brought enough money so I could not spend a lot of money on stuff and not buy a lot of food while I'm out at work. So I was only able to get one. So I'm gonna eat it. Whoa, this has a really nice little atmosphere. Oh, it's a cafe and jazz bar. That's cool. So I went back for the purple one because I realized you can use Suica to pay there, your like train card, and there's information I don't need to know, but now I know it, and it's dangerous. But anyway, I have enough money to take the train home. I try to purposely leave my money at home sometimes so I can't buy more stuff, but it didn't work today. Anyway, it's really good. This is better than the purple potato I had before. It's almost the same taste as like the normal like yellow orange inside ones but it's a little bit like thicker and like stickier and chewier I guess would be the word and it's slightly less sweet but still sweet it's good it's really good mmm look at that purpley goodness alright I'm back home now and man you guys I am tired I don't think it's like going back to work so much as it's the fact that I got up ridiculously early to take the Odaku romance car but I was like falling asleep on the train on the way home which is something I rarely do and I don't know I feel like I sound like I'm drunk right now and I'm definitely not <laughs> um but yeah first day back to work it was a little bit strange it's I mean I guess it's always kind of a little bit I don't know getting to know new students. Um, a lot of the classes were a lot smaller than anticipated, but there was one class, everyone came, it was fine. It was a day and words are just not happening. Um, that purple potato though, that was great and I'm glad I know that's near there for the future. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is a little different. Usually I'm supposed to do 
kindergartens also with my schedule, but the kindergartens are not open yet, so I'm going to be doing something else tomorrow. That in the morning, that afternoon, I have to go to another faraway place, but I won't have to be on as much of a crowded train, I guess, because it's so far away. But, well, at night, maybe I will. Today, actually, the night train was not very crowded, like even on my home line one, which is pretty busy, but the morning early in the morning was decently crowded. I was like, there were people, I wasn't like necessarily like squished with people, but there were still people like touching all around. And I don't know, I feel a little anxious riding the train again and just going kind of back to normal-ish. It's a little bit worrying. I think if I am gonna go to Hombu or somewhere nearby tomorrow, I will ride my bike. But where I went today, it was, it was too far. It's impossible. I mean, it's possible, but not for me. <laughs> Uh, it would have been like two hours or more. Maybe one of these days I'll try it, but the first day is not the day, the first time I'm meeting these students. So, uh, yeah, that's about my updates. I'm going to do my workout bike now. I'm so tired. Wow. Do my workout bike and shower, so I smell good. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing, only one kid was afraid of my bird mask today. <laughs> um, and wearing a mask all day where it's like absolute necessity. Because like at work I can't really, like I mean I can take it down when I'm not like with people and there's like no one in the building at the time because like, yeah, it's a kind of, I guess it's safe. I don't know what's safe, but I'm trying. Um... But wearing a mask all day, oh man, it is brutal. It so I'm moving and like talking a lot, so my breath is making my face all moist. And then I'm jumping up and down and moving around because it's a really energetic job. Then I'm like getting sweaty and the breath, and then I'm talking and then trying to understand what kids are saying when I can't see their mouth. And man, that is a struggle too. Like I was wearing. The bird mask that I made so it fits my face perfectly and it's those good like straps that are made specifically for a mask so it's one of my most comfortable masks and it's still like my ears are sore from that. It's surprising because when you first put it on it's like oh this is fine and then a few hours in you're like my ears are in pain and some of my other ones, the ones that I bought, well they're gorgeous and they're comfortable for short periods of time, wearing it all day is going to be brutal but I guess I'll try one of those one, blah, 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 those ones out tomorrow and yeah so that's my other uh, comments of the day if I think of anything else I'll tell you hello guys so today it is Wednesday I had my first day of getting all this stuff set up but now I gotta run to another location and yeah Hello guys, so I'm home now, uh, sorry I didn't vlog much, I just haven't been feeling it. Work is weird, all of my classes, a lot of the kids are still not coming or a lot of kids have actually like dropped the classes or are still on a long term absence. So I've had a lot of just one kid classes and while they're not awful, they're not great either. It's hard for me to get into my happy excited teacher mode when you can't see their facial expressions and I kind of feed off of that like I like to show my facial expressions to make them happy and make weird faces sometimes and my smile I like to use to comfort them and it's the first day I'm meeting these kids so it's like the older students are just kind of nervous and quiet and then the younger kids are either crying or also nervous and quiet and then since all my classes are really small right now they don't have other kids to interact with so it's just kind of awkward and I can't see their facial expression. I don't know if they're happy or sad or just staring blankly. And I can't use my facial expressions to make them feel more comfortable because, I mean, we're not speaking the same language. And facial language is, body language is really important in this job, I think. So it's really, I don't know. I feel like I haven't been doing a great job of like first impression, high energy, happy, let's get this going. So it's like I'm waiting, I'm like, oh, and then one kid kind of just like files on into the classroom or, or, 
crying kid I have to physically pull away and you can't physically force kids to wear a mask either like they're young they don't get it so some kids are like I don't want to wear a mask me 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 take it off and throw it on the ground and step on it like one boy did um so yeah this is weird I mean I'm glad I'm going back to work but also mm, I want to I want to do a better job and it's hard to do this kind of job well when you can't see half the face and it's about language but then also one of the kind of good things I guess is I like the anonymity sometimes like when I'm riding the train and like walking past strangers I don't necessarily want people to see my facial expression and I feel less I don't know awkward self-conscious when I have it on my face that's kind of a good thing I notice from it and then sometimes when I'm having conversations with other people I don't want them to know everything I'm thinking through my face that I don't say and it's kind of good sometimes to have that but then also I don't like that because there's people that I like to talk to and I like seeing their face when they talk and then when okay my camera battery died in the middle of talking I don't remember where I left off um oh yeah I mm -hmm, what was I saying I don't remember anyway I don't know why I'm not feeling like vlogging very much but anyway I know why. It's because the world's a mess and things are confusing and going back to work is weird. Anyway, we're going to go to boyfriend's parents' house by bike because you need to pick up some stuff. Um, but yeah, then tomorrow I have to call in and see if I have to do something special or just go to the office and do office stuff. But yeah. Loveless Blackout Energy Drink. Okay, we got a clip-on thing for my bike so I can carry my phone and navigate when I bike ride to work. I'm gonna try to go far distances. And we're stopping at Makotoya, boyfriend's favorite ramen restaurant and mine. They do takeout after because usually they're open really late, but now they do takeout instead because virus stuff is going to get takeout and he bought a ramen bowl at Donkey specifically for this reason. So we'll see how takeout ramen works. That's a really new thing. Usually ramen doesn't ever do takeout, so I'm interested to see how this is going to look. So this is it. There's like the noodles, noodles. and the broth. What? Yeah. This is cool. So yeah. Oh, she doing? Okay, I gotta record this for the memories. I don't know if takeout ramen, especially from our favorite ramen place, will ever be a thing again or ever would be a thing if it weren't for like current pandemic circumstances. So, yeah. Oh, it's got thin noodles and thick noodles. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nande. You don't choose, they just give you everything? Oh. Uh. Cool. Okay, here we go. It's got some nori, the seaweed, it's got the thick or the thin noodles, the thick noodles, and then I guess this is the instructions mm. on how to make it. This is so cool! Whoa, like you can, look at all that frozen fatty oily bits, and there's the spinach in it too. Okay, you make some hot water, and I guess just throw the bag in there? Mm. To heat it up. Oh. It's melting, and it's got chashu in it. Yay, cool. This is so cool. Here's the frozen noodles. Boyfriend's going to use the thick noodles because he likes thick noodles. Oh, it smells like it. Whoa. Yeah. It smells just like a smelly ramen restaurant. Wow. <laughs> Yay, that's cool. Look at that. It's ramen restaurant ramen in in our kitchen on the sink. It smells like a ramen restaurant. This is weird. 